Travel, it's so different now. We are certainly in a new normal. Airlines and their employees are facing off about vaccine mandates, the rights that they have to get vaccinated or not. Travelers could feel the brunt of some of this. We're joined right now by travel journalist Peter Greenberg, live from Los Angeles to explain. Peter, thanks for joining us as always. We were just looking at uh, some of the numbers out from uh, this disgruntled uh, group of uh, passengers. Uh, all of the uh, cancellations that we had uh, from Southwest, $75 million is what it cost Southwest Airlines. So I'm sure that they are thinking about their bottom line right now. With them backtracking on their initial response to the COVID vaccine mandates, do you think that this is going to be a PR blunder on their part? It may already have been that, but let's go through some history here. Back when United Airlines told their employees to get vaccinated by September 27th or face termination, they, they, they obeyed. And in fact, when September 27th rolled around, 99% of the United Airlines employees did get vaccinated. Only about 290 actually lost their jobs. Then the U.S. said to, to all the airlines, get everybody vaccinated by December 8th or lose your federal contracts. People forget the airlines started in this business by doing what? Hauling the United States mail. So all the other airlines, American, Southwest, Alaska, gave their employees a November 24th deadline to get vaccinated or either take unpaid leave or lose their job. That's when the pushback happened. Southwest Airlines pilots sued Southwest, and we just saw what happened. Southwest then backed down. Uh, American Airlines pilots have expressed a similar feeling about possibly suing them. And the subtext here is easy to figure out. The pilots are saying, go ahead and fire us. Wow. Because if you fire us, there's no airplane to fly. Yeah. Uh, they, they, it's a real staffing issue. So that's the subtext there. But it gets actually worse for passengers because what we have right now is a perfect storm. Rising jet fuel prices, the United States opening up on November 8th to foreign pa passengers who've been vaccinated, and, of course, the holiday travel season itself. All that's converging. And there's another factor. Our friends at the TSA, only 40% of their agents are vaccinated, and their union is now saying they're going to push back. So put all that together, and we have the makings of planes, trains, and automobiles circa 2021. Well, I'm glad you're bringing up all of these points together because it's this big snowball effect with all of these uh, factors. A lot of employees in other industries, they're really being a push to get the vaccine or lose their jobs. But with the airline industry, you know, Southwest saying, you know what, if you're unvaccinated now, we're not going to force you to take unpaid leave. Is this really showing signs that airline staff has more leverage? perhaps than other industries because they're relied upon so much more. Oh, you said it. It's, it's connecting the dots here. They are holding the cards and, and management now knows it. They can't use uh, either termination or unpaid leave to get them to come to the table because they know that if they don't have them there, they can't operate their airline. So it's a showdown at the OK Corral. We're going to have to see what happens over the next two weeks. It's going to have to get resolved because they can't go beyond that and operate their airlines. What about, you mentioned the TSA. Do you think there will be a screening shortage or do you think that they'll come to some type of agreement here? Well, that's the other issue because the TSA already has a shortage. They're down about 5,000 agents to begin with. And you can't just hire new people. You've got to train them. And that time is going to go way beyond November 24th. So they have an issue they've got to resolve very quickly. Expect long lines either way. Peter Greenberg, as always, thank you for making it so much easier to understand a complicated issue here. Appreciate it. You got it. Well, from airline workers to law enforcement, we are speaking with one police union president on his thoughts about the vaccine mandate.